and it's three and four. You had a minus one spread. You got an over under 43 and a half. Um, I truly do feel that this could be Derek Carr's last game as the starter if he doesn't step it up because there is starting to become way too loud the grumblings of Derek Carr being uh, a problem, you know what I mean, for this team. And I don't know if he's getting the respect that he truly deserves. You know what I mean? This guy was a, a guy they had on the top 100 list a few years ago, Jeff. Now they're over here talking about when's he getting out the league. You know, and I just don't know if the Saints are a good fit or I just don't know if Derek Carr's a, a really good quarterback. To be honest with you, I think he's pretty much average, and that's exactly what most of the quarterbacks in the NFL are. We only really got five good ones, and Derek Carr is not one of them. Um, Gardner Minshew had a beautiful week, uh, game against the Browns when it came to his offensive stats in throwing for long touchdowns. But when it came down to quarterbacking the game, he was awful because um, three fumbles lost, Jeff, uh, uh, interception, um, sacked, what, four times as well, too. It just wasn't a good day in general for um, Minshew, but it was a good day for the team overall. But he still showed signs of him being a very serviceable quarterback as well, too. But I think that that won't be enough in a game against a team that plays the type of defense that the Saints do. The only reason why the Saints gave up 31 points the last week was because they were on three days rest. And Jeff called it out early in the year that a lot of these games are going to be tricky because the three days of rest. If we would have got 10 days, probably seven days of rest, most likely the Saints would have won that game in the Dome and they wouldn't have gave up 31 points. So – I think that with 10 days of rest, they'll come back into this game refreshed on somewhat of a mini buy, and they'll get the win here, Jeff. I'm taking the Saints with the plus 100 here. Let's get that money. It's it's funny because two weeks ago we had the Colts. Um, where were they? They were on the road. Oh, against the Jags in the perfect revenge spot, and, and Minshew looked like uh, uh, a kid just – playing out in the, in the street with a Nerf ball, just throwing it around like it's a hot potato, looked awful. And then last week, you know, it's Minshew Mania uh, 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 running wild uh, at home. Uh, you know, you got the Saints coming off an extra couple of days rest on that Thursday loss. And, of course, last night as we're wrapping up the Monday night game, there's Chris Olave uh, thrown in the can because uh, 35 miles an hour – over the speed limit, reckless driving. These kids just won't learn. Just ask Henry Ruggs and a few others here. Ask half of the Georgia football team. Um, so tough, tough call here. Uh, we went with the Colts in the money line here. Maybe a Minshew bounce back. I do like the Saints in a desperation spot where your eyes are. Something's going on with Carr. He's checked down Charlie. He's thrown for over 300 yards a game, but everything is 6 7 yard outs to the pylon it's it's death by ten thousand paper cuts i think the colts defensively bottle up kamara make uh, car throw deep and i think that's a secret to success taylor is rounding in the form zach moss no one's talking about the year that Zach Moss is having. He's been amazing. The rookie Josh Downs having a spectacular rookie year. Michael Pittman, nice bounce back year as well. So I get a close, close game here. My true numbers pops on this game are, as we speak, uh, it was Saints minus one with a 39 and a half. It is now flip uh, at circa right now. Colts minus 143 and a half. I'm going to go 24-20 Colts with the win here. And I like your thinking, Jeff. I truly do, because I know you're looking at it that they bounce back. They haven't really been good at home this year. They've they've won once at home this season. But I know what you're looking at. You're saying to yourself that this is a good bounce back week. This is a good team to bounce back against. We have some offensive issues, and it seems like the Colts been able to be really good against teams with offensive issues, even if they got a good defense. And after the way they, they posterized the Browns last week, who were the best defense coming into the uh, game, then, you know, you look at that Saints defense and you say to yourself, you could be a barbecue chicken as well, too. So, hey, it is what it is. But the, you beat me to it. Josh Downs has outperformed two of the uh, first round rookies uh, this year already. And they were both the first uh, wide receivers off the board. 
JSN and QJ. Those guys are absolutely getting uh, are absolutely behind Joshua Downs and Puka Nakua. That's crazy. Oh my god, Puka has been unstoppable. Can you imagine next year in fantasy drafts you're going to be talking about at the at the one two turn? Do I take Cup and Puka? I mean, Puka's just been off the charts. Yeah, Puka's been good. He's been really good. 